Chicago, are you guys fucking ready? Let me hear you. We asked all of you, are you fucking ready for a roast tonight? Give me a hell yeah. All right, let's give it up for your host of Roast Battle Chicago. You may have seen him January 6, 2021. He's got big credits, Matt Badmore! We actually have three more panelists to bring up tonight. Chris Grieco, Ed Larson, and the Roast Master General himself. Everybody makes noise for Jeff Ross! Hell yeah, more fucking fat guys! <laughs> more fat guys! You guys paid $10 a ticket, that's a goddamn steal, holy shit. I, I wanna love with you guys real quick. Yeah, it's good, well, sweet, sweet. hi everybody, welcome. I mean, I feel so welcome, thank you. My cousin Ed, got some friends here, this is super cool. It's such a big panel, holy shit. <laughs> wow. What up, man? You guys ready for your first battle, Jeff? This is cool. What are the rules to this roast battle? How many jokes? Like, what's going to happen? We're going to do seven jokes back and forth, tit for tat. Uh, at the end, you guys tell us who the winner is. All right. Cool, cool, man. This first, uh, first group, one of them's a producer on the show, but he's never done a roast battle, so no pressure on him. Uh, guys, make some noise for these two battlers, Jess Mizzitano and Kevin Kellum. <laughs> Bring stage. Come on. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Who is starting us off on this battle? Uh, we'll, we'll go with me. I forgot to do the chant. My bad, yeah, guys. We'll she's not a lady. Time. We can't start with ladies. So. <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh, how is everybody doing? Thank you so much. What can I say about Jessica that hasn't already been written on a bathroom wall in Gary, <laughs> Indiana? <laughs> Jessica looks and acts like someone who was raised by a pack of Newport cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I only wanted to roast Kevin uh, because I'm excited to be slapping around a big bald pussy other than my own. God damn. I squirt. Uh, <laughs> we know. For, uh, Jessica. This is her second career. She was forced into retirement as a stripper. Forced into it. She didn't want to go. She forced people to pay for lap dances, and then she said, I'll pay you for the lap dance, and it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. My dad right. doesn't love me as much as I thought he did. <laughs> Kevin looks like he should be tough, right? <laughs> like, I can't tell, I can't tell if you're like the gayest truck driver or like, or like the toughest peacock wrangler. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. Ten four, good buddy. Ten four. Uh, uh, Jessica is dating a construction worker. She's dating yeah. a construction worker. Someone who builds homes. Yeah, and she wrecks them. <laughs> He's into construction. I'm into deconstruction. <laughs> uh, Kevin's on the radio. If you don't know that, nobody does. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Got a real Spotify crowd here, okay? <laughs> yeah. The only reason uh, Kevin's uh, on the radio is because the circus isn't a thing. You look like you make balloon animals, dude. <laughs> What's it like to have dreams to be part of a dying medium? You know? <laughs> you know, if that doesn't work out, might I suggest, I don't know, like Walmart cashier or, I don't know, Blockbuster employee? <laughs> You've been fired from all of those places, Jessica. Tell me how it works. All right, Jessica does something admirable. She cuts the hair of old women at a retirement home. Isn't that great? Isn't that admirable? Isn't that nice? Yeah. We know she only does that so she can steal their jewelry. I'm a thieving bitch. <laughs> you look like Thanos if he used all his powers to bring back segregation. <laughs> character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know what Thanos has that you don't have? A fucking ring on your finger, sweetheart, okay? You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, 
Kevin goes by Kevin the Clown Kellum, um, spelled with a K so that his initials spell out exactly what he looks like. Once again, she's dating a unionized construction worker. A unionized construction worker, and he's young. He's 10 years younger than her. She likes him young, dumb, and full of health benefits she couldn't get on her own. <laughs> her mistakes aren't gonna pay for themselves, everybody, all right? That's a good one, Walter White Power. I'm the one who knocks, bitch! <laughs> last round, I'm last round. <laughs> last round, last round, right? Is it? No, I thought it's six. It's oh, six. Fuck it, I can't count. I wrote two more, let me do it. Keep oh, going, yeah. fuck Keep the rules. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me when you're done, okay? <laughs> Bro, you look like you strike your girlfriend if she brings home Diet Mountain Dew. I like the real thing. I like the real thing. I like the real thing. Let's give it up for her. She looks like Peg Bundy from Married with Children, but unlike Peg Bundy, she's never going to be Married with Children. Uh... <laughs> Those violence. You know, Kevin is 39 years old, and he's really into pro wrestling. Damn right. Honestly, that should be the roast, but there's more. <laughs> if Kevin was a pro wrestler, his name would be Stone Cold. <laughs> sorry, his name would be Stone Cold Steve Autism. Oh hell yeah! If you think Kevin can't find the click, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line. You the fucking bottom clown. Line. <laughs> One more. Uh, Jess resembles Miss Piggy from the Muppets. That's so funny. Hang on. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like what? It's not like that. You're like Miss Piggy because a lot of hands have been inside you and you put on a good show the whole time. Uh. <laughs> we also know that you would fuck a frog. I'm just uh. saying. <laughs> That's the battle, right? I, I don't know. You, you tell me. Kept, I'm we just kept <laughs> bro, I can't going, count, bro. I can go, dude. You look like you only wear footy pajamas. Because uh, they're fucking comfortable. Bro, you look like... Because they're comfortable. Shut up. You look, like, <laughs> you look like you yell back at your mom when she tells you dinner's ready. I don't want nuggets, mom. I don't want nuggets. <laughs> I've lost control. I've lost control. Everybody, make some noise for that battle. Make some noise for both of them. God damn. I get out. That's holy shit. That was great. That was Kevin's first roast battle. Holy shit, baby's first roast battle. He's all grown up. Hopefully his last too. All right, baby's you all wanna, grown up. Do you want to start us off, Jeff? On the panel, work our way down from you. You want to start no, us off? I mean, I just got excited because I, that was so funny, and it was just a great funny time. You guys had good back and forth funny stuff. Like I could have watched Jess. Is it? I could have watched you make fun of him for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, and I feel like, and I feel like, don't do that, don't do that. And, I, and I feel like, you know, I like you could. I feel like you could just stand there and make fun of him. At first, I didn't think you were gonna be good. You're like Jennifer Maniston or something. I was like, I was like, <laughs> but you know, you're, you're so comfortable. And then, and then, what's your name, man? Kevin, yeah, your comebacks were funnier than your jokes, but uh, I really enjoyed that, and uh, yeah. Yo, fuck your writing, Kevin. That's what he said. <laughs> All right, Greco, what are your thoughts? Who do you think won? Man, that was, that was awesome. Kevin, you were very funny, but you dressed like Chris Angel going to prom, and I don't like that. <laughs> That was great. It was a good thing. I think your shirt and her skirt should just fuck and, and, <laughs> and just call it a day. I mean, let's be honest, just call it. You guys are great, very funny. Um, you, for your first Rose Battle, I'm very impressed. But I mean, listen, uh, uh, Jess smashed you uh, in front of everybody, oh and I loved it, every moment of it. All right, awesome. Jess, Jess. 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 Keith, Lynn, what are your thoughts, man? Uh, that was a fucking great battle between the couple who's on their way to a PTA meeting to try to resegregate the football team. Uh, <laughs> that Forget the Titans. <laughs> I 
want to see talk, more of the yeah. white man's fundamentals. Uh, no, that was a fucking, that was a great fight. I thought that the Thanos ring comeback was maybe my favorite joke of the whole thing. That said, Ooh, that uh, Jessica, I love, all your jokes were good. I also love that you just owned, like, yeah, I'm a stripper, I steal shit, I'm fucking gross or whatever. Like, you really <laughs> leaned into your whole gnarly thing. So I am going to vote for you as well. Fucking well done. All welcome. right. <laughs> Leo, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, great battle, guys. I Holy thought it was shit. awesome. I agree that your comebacks were amazing. Um, Jess, I love you. I think you're amazing. I'm married with children. Overrated. So <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, yeah, definitely Jess. <laughs> she crushed you, dude. Oh, know. yeah. All right. <laughs> Jeff takes the, Jess takes the battle. Jess takes the battle. But we'll check in. Quasi, what are your thoughts? Uh, first off, I appreciate you two dressing like you're depending on this saliva concert to save your marriage. Uh, <laughs> Also, uh, it does need to be said that Jess looks like she did coke with her kid's soccer coach and still forgot to pick him up from practice. Uh, yeah. No, uh, but still, you know, e even with that, it is impossible for a woman to lose custody. So Jess won that battle. All uh, right. Makes noise for Jess. Grace, what are your thoughts? Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Um, Jess is normally a nightmare. Like, I feel like <laughs> she is. Like, there are at least three Stephen King novels based on her childhood. Um, and you're dressed like a secretary at a sex shop. Kevin, uh, a lot of people say you have a face for radio. I think you have a body for radio and a voice for email. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Chicago's reigning champion. She's at it. Uh, yeah, Jess won, obviously. All right, guys, make some noise for Jess Mistatana, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Woo. Holy shit. What a start to the night. What a high point. Get out of here. Woo. Holy shit. You guys ready for another next round of battlers? Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, they've done the show a few times each. Everybody make some noise for Lindsay Shaw and Matt Torres. <laughs> All right, who's starting us off? Who's starting us off? Ladies first. Oh, shit. You would say that. She's Matt so used to be bad. in the military. He used to be in the military in his 20s. And he also used to be hot. Uh, but I think it's really nice that he's dedicated his 30s to being the male spokesman for the effects of menopause. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, Lindsay smoked her whole life. <laughs> the only thing more polluted than her lungs is her womb. <laughs> Matt's Mexican. <laughs> That's not a joke. He can't, he can't use that as a flex. Shut the fuck up. He can't use that as a flex because he looks like a Mexican who voted for Trump. So. <laughs> Lindsay started comedy in her late 30s, which makes sense uh, because she also waited too long to have children. <laughs> oh, poor me. Um, <laughs> Matt used to live in LA. He lived in LA for a time. But he actually, he got sick of it and left because he was so tired of being typecast as the lead in sleep apnea commercials. So, <laughs> so he bounced. Lindsay always makes fun of me for being married. Um, <laughs> she pretends she doesn't want to be married. Like everyone she's ever with, been with who <laughs> pretends to love her. <laughs> You're unlovable. Wow. <laughs> Was that too serious? My shrinks, my shrinks here, you motherfucker. I'm sorry. It's all right. You were, in, la you were in laced up shoes tonight? <laughs> Your wife helped you for sure, uh. dude. <laughs> he always wears fucking Crocs or slip-ons. He hasn't been able to bend over and tie his own shoes since the Bush administration, okay? You're gonna die alone with your cats. You're unlovable. I have one. For now. Go ahead. It's your turn. Oh, is it? Yeah, bitch. I have no idea what Lindsay has wrong. really big heels on. Uh, she's actually the shortest comedian I can think of. She's uh, only 4'10". So she's the smallest comedian in Chicago. Which is weird, because she's the biggest whore in Chicago. 
Is that too direct? I think I just flashed a labia on that one, actually. <laughs> You're welcome. Matt's a landlord, uh, but he doesn't like... Uh, <laughs> get up a flight of stairs. <laughs> I told you that in trust. Uh, <laughs> I will never forgive you for this. Um, Lindsay's the only person I know who's banged so many comedians and it hasn't helped her at all. <laughs> He's married. He's married. Her, his wife is so fucking cute and hot and looks way younger than him. She's so hot. And you know she married him because he must have a really great life insurance policy. <laughs> Lindsay's 40. She looks really young for her age. <laughs> but she's also poor, so her secret is, instead of makeup, every night she smears cum on her face. Wow. Am, I, am I glowing? It works. <laughs> Matt told me he jacks off every day. Every day he jerks off. He has to. He says he has to. Every day, even though he's married, he has to jerk off. It's true. But he's courteous courteous enough to incorporate his wife. He has her hold of a picture of himself when he was 26 and in shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last round, last round. Lindsay's built like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Except she's way more broken. Was that it? Was that it? All right, that's the bounty. Let's make some noise. I'm sorry. Hug it out. Hug it out, you freaks. How you guys doing? Sweet, sweet. We're going to reverse order on the panel. Grace, you want to start us off? What are your thoughts? Who do you think won that round? Uh, Matt, I've never seen you before, and I'm sure I'll never see you again. <laughs> Damn, she's booked, huh? Uh, you look like an off-duty uh, mall Santa. <laughs> And um, <laughs> Lindsay, I think I speak for all of us when I say too much leg. Here, here. <laughs> oh, uh, Who do you think won the round? Oh dear. <laughs> I almost I, uh, the guy. What's your name? Matt Torres. His name's Matt Torres. Ah, give I give it to Matt. Makes most for Matt, everybody. Come on, come on. Quaz, what are your thoughts? This felt like watching two Mad TV characters that didn't take off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, although, Lindsay, I do appreciate you taking the night off for making people sell brills to cross your bridge. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, I, I feel like this is one where I almost don't want to pick a winner, but I do... <laughs> I do appreciate that Matt only aimed for the soul. Uh, so I'm going to go with Matt. All right, two for Matt, two for Matt. What are your thoughts? Um, this was, I guess, a fun battle between a perfect square and a perfect pair. I, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you figure it out. Figure That's it out. for you guys to figure out. Um... I mean, if I could go by personality, I would pick you, Lindsay, because you have it for days, but unfortunately that doesn't trans into, translate into funny. Um, God damn. I gotta go God with damn. Matt, barely. So Matt I give it Torres, to Matt Spongebob Torres, three and three in a row. Time. Holy shit. Holy shit, that would hurt second hand. I felt the pain radiate, holy shit. Keith, what are your thoughts, man? Holy shit, way in. Man, I have never seen a Mexican with that little swag before. Like, <laughs> halfway through your set, all those dudes driving around rolled up the flags and put them back in the car. Like. <laughs> and, uh, I, 
Thank you. Lindsay, Lindsay, I do second the too oh, much leg, but also somehow not enough leg. Like, you look like a rotisserie chicken that would fuck me for $20. Like, <laughs> Costco looking ass. <laughs> uh, Overall, uh, my vote is that we start the show over and put them before the good battle. Uh, oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! But I, I, would, I agree with the going straight for the soul. I loved, uh, I loved your energy, Lindsay, but I'm going to give this one to Matt. All right, Tortoise takes the round. Greco, what are your thoughts? Man, I think we can all agree that that was fine. That was just fine. Pretty good. That was There's cool. a few I'm glad good to see, ones. Yes. Um, George Zimmerman getting work. Pretty cool. Love that. <laughs> glad to see him back out. Taking lives in a different way. I yeah, love damn. it. I'm giving it to George, man. Great job. No shit. Taurus takes it. I just want to say, I'm, I'm not going to judge, but I think you two look like two different uh, parts of a Russian nesting doll found in the trash. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you said that. Give that guy the mic more often. Jeff, what are your thoughts? Who do you think won the round? I'm not sure who won, but you're going to have to take a shower before you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> This was one of the sweatier battles I've seen. <laughs> I've seen a lot of sweaty battles, but this was one of the sweatiest battles. Holy oh, shit! But uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. You know what's fun is even when the jokes suck, you guys were like in it and laughing and having a good time with it. So that 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 to me makes it just pure fun, and that's. I'm in the mood. I vote for pure fun. <laughs> All right. Pure fun takes the round. Everybody make some noise. Lindsay Sean, Matt Torres. Also, also my porn name, porn fun. Also, yes, we also my favorite Chinese dish, porn fun. <laughs> he's roll. he's roll. <laughs> All right, guys, we got two young ballers come up. They've each done one roast battle before. Guys, make some noise for Josh Ham and Vern Abraham, everybody. Make some noise for them. Young comics on the scene. What up, what up? What up, what up? Gen Z in the house. <laughs> Who's starting us off? Who's starting us off? I can. All right. Um, Josh works at Starbucks, uh, and sex with him has often been described as a drink he'd make. You put it in your mouth and you go, eh, I've had better. <laughs> uh, I've had better jokes than that. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, Vern is actually non-binary. Um, they have she and they pronouns. And if you're not familiar, I can actually give you an example within a sentence. She think they funny. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's to the soul. <laughs> Josh looks like he invested in RuPaul's fracking organization. <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, Bern was actually pretty scared through this roast battle. Um, they said that they're not a mean person. Um, but I disagree. Them performing on stage in front of paying customers is the meanest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is really into drag ing audiences through jokes with terrible punchlines. <laughs> hey, this set is a drag, but okay. Um, They've never seen you perform, obviously. Uh, they are now. Um, <laughs> when Vern goes to an open mic, they are such a slut that it is no longer an open mic, but a gaping mic. <laughs> <laughs> They are such a slut that they will do anything to get booked besides be funny. Josh claims to be a comedian, but uh, he thinks a tight five refers to his most recent match on Grindr. <laughs> is that not what that means? Vern <laughs> uh, is actually a barista too. Um, they work at a coffee shop called Two-Hearted Queen. But after they hired her, they had to like change the name to Two Faced Bitch. <laughs> uh, Josh is the type of person who would criticize the customer service at Goodwill. <laughs> I do. It's true. 
messy in there. Um, <laughs> Burn recently broke up with their boyfriend um, because of toxic masculinity. Um, and I agree. Um, do you see these man shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, something about Josh. Uh, he looks like he ate bugs as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah. That was it. Okay. That was it. Um, Vern actually has a really bad past with drugs. Um, but I'm actually, there's no joke, I'm pretty proud of them. They overcame it, you know? Um, last year they used to take drugs and now they just do them. <laughs> all right, last so round, last like round. Fun. Uh, Josh is black. Uh, but he wears... <laughs> Whoa! That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> she saves it for the end! <laughs> she saves it for the end! Uh, the big finisher! That's literally the punchline. No, no, it's... Okay, Josh is black. Um, uh, but he wears blue contacts and bleaches his hair blonde to throw the Nazis off his scent. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was rough. Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty bad. Um, Vern actually lies about their age. Um, when they go on a date, they say that they're 21, um, just so the guy could buy them a drink. And um, the drink of choice is uh, Capri Sun. <laughs> hey, that's the bad. Everybody make some noise. Come on. <laughs> All right, judges, we're going to start in the middle. We'll start with Keith. Keith, what are your thoughts? Uh, that, that was a fun battle between the two Stranger Things kids you hope die. Uh, <laughs> you, she's got to grab the mic. <laughs> you, you do both look like you're in the process of transitioting to each other's gender, and you've met in the middle for a scuffle. I, uh, also, I got to tell you, he's not black anymore. He's gay. Like, <laughs> you're way gayer than you ever were black. Uh, that... That was a lot of fun. I, uh, I especially really loved the, the customer service at a Goodwill joke I thought was so fucking funny, but uh, gaping Mike and all the just real cunty asides of everything. Uh, I give it to you, bud. Well done. All right, Josh takes the first one. Uh, Leo, what are your thoughts? Who do you think won that round? Oh, man, that was fun. You guys are like, <laughs> I met you in the back, you were like, we're best friends. I don't fucking think anymore, okay? <laughs> I think that's over, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I think, uh, it was, it was, I agree with Keith, I, I really like the Goodwill joke, but I think that was your best joke, and I think he got you every time with one better, so I'm giving it to Josh. All right, Josh takes two, Josh takes two. Quasa, what are your thoughts? Well, that was just the cutest little hate crime I ever did see. Uh, <laughs> You've said that before, you totally have said that before. I, I have not, uh. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate Josh looking like every member of Brockhampton combined. Uh, that joke was for four people. Uh, but uh, it, it, was, it was a pretty solid mid all around, but uh, Vern, you ran out of steam at the end. Uh, the last two jokes didn't hit, and uh, Josh hit with every one. So, uh, Jew votes ham. All right. Josh takes the vote. Josh takes the vote. Grace, what are your thoughts? Uh, you guys look like gay Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Fuck everything. <laughs> God damn. And for everyone else in the room, there's a lot of very confused boners in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> um, yeah, you're both very funny. That was fun. I, and I'm going to give it to Josh. All right, Josh takes around. Josh takes around. <laughs> Jeff, what are your thoughts? Weigh in, man. What do you got to say? Well, I also wrote down the goodwill joke, Vern. That was super funny. And um, your whole thing is hilarious. But Josh, you were much more consistent. And I was so blown away by that. That simplicity of that o uh, open gaping mic joke. Like, <laughs> we've all heard a million open mic jokes, but that one was super funny. Oh, and I think. It, 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 it could probably be about anybody, but somehow you made it fit. And, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. They always make it fit. Uh, oh, but overall, for both of you, you, were, you have such great material, and I get that it's seven jokes, and it's so much. It's a marathon. But I feel like this is big stage here. You guys are killing. If you could try to 
get off notes or hold those notes and think about the performance around this great material, you'll just own this room like nothing else. So, you know, just spend a little time just trying to remember some of it. So, and, and I think you'll just be, just crushing it even more. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Make sure I slap, make sure I slap the mat. I give it to Josh. Josh, Rico, what are your thoughts? I agree with Jeff, you both failed. Uh, <laughs> The long and short of it. No, I thought, I thought it was great. That was the funniest uh, community college pamphlet I've ever seen. It was pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, love that. Very good. Um, Vern, I, I didn't even, I didn't even notice. He was so gay. I didn't even know he was, he was black until you said it. <laughs> I had no idea. You really opened my eyes. Uh, you both did great. I know you've only done one roast battle, both of you, and I can't wait to see you, both of you come on the show more because I, I really love watching. Absolutely. You guys do Make some noise for that. Make some noise for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for from. Come on now. Thank you guys so much. You're good? You're good. That's the battle. You're good? You're good? Ed, you have some? I'm sorry, man. We have another guest here, man. He Ed, what are your thoughts, man? I'm sorry, sometimes. Ed. I cut you off. I just feel like those two are going to end up in a basement somewhere. And <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. Against their will. Against that, was worth it. that was worth it. Because <laughs> I forgot about the goddamn chant, okay? So we'll do it after I bring up these two people. Guys, make some noise for two Chicago favorites, John Stockwell and Pat Bullduck, everybody. <laughs> Now, one sec, one sec, one sec. Before you guys start, who's starting this off? I'll go first. Fine. All right, one sec. Before we start, guys, let's start the chat. Battle, 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 battle. Let's race. Come on, Pat, start us off. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody, for being here. Um, you know, it's interesting. They say you only roast the ones that you love, which is why I'm confused why John is roasting me and not a small Filipino boy that he met on a semester abroad. <laughs> But John is, John is a tough guy to roast, he is. Mostly because if you tried to fit his head inside an oven, you'd have to go to where they incinerate the dead whales at SeaWorld. <laughs> you literally haven't turned on an oven in your life. <laughs> I'm surprised you even know that word. <laughs> Pat looks like in high school, he would get drunk and fight a dad at his own baseball games. <laughs> Well, it's John, you actually look like the, the mascot to a sports team. You really do. I think it's the Philadelphia January Sixers. Something like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So listen, John is an amateur comedian and an amateur skateboarder. Or as his parents call it, died in a car accident 10 years ago. <laughs> Pat teaches classes at Second City, which is surprising, because I didn't know they offered classes on how to get out of a DUI. <laughs> He's wasted right now. Uh, everybody knows that John is a fun guy. Um, oh, shit, I think I missed it. No, sorry, John, your nose looks like fungi. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, I've heard of cauliflower ear. I've never heard of portobello nose. That's amazing. <laughs> Your nose looks like an eggplant that hatched. I've never seen that before yeah. in my entire life. Ooh. Pat looks like what happens when you clone someone five or six times and they start getting mental problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it starts to fall off, folks. Um, <laughs> Back to the note. Uh, John is, a, John is a yep. clearly artistic. Um, I, no, I misread that. John is obviously autistic. Uh, that's what I meant to say. John is so autistic that if I showed him a video of five guys running a train on his mom, he would just be excited to see a train. Oh. He, <laughs> it's fair. That's fair, dude. You're autistic. You piece of shit. You fucking, I will, I swear to God, this is gonna turn into a slugfest. <laughs> what? That counts as a premise, but um, no, it does count as a premise. Is that no? the joke? No, what, no, shut the fuck that up. That joke sucked, anyway. Um, no, shut the fuck no. up, I will fucking, I swear to God. Pat's general look is like the box of popsicles that he's had melting on his kitchen counter for the past week. Kind of sticky, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. 
John, I can tell you that you're Catholic because the entire crowd took a vow of silence. So <laughs> but, um, uh, you piece of shit! There's a priest here tonight, holy shit. Um, John is engaged, which is good because back when he was single and he was dating on Tinder, he would hear a lot of no's. Right, girls would be like, you have a disgusting nose. Or you have a crooked as fuck nose. Or your face looks like a piece of pizza from Domino's. Or I would rather fuck every old Italian man than you on The Sopranos. Shit like that, you know what I mean? He just, That's funny. right after Bobby Baklava comes John in the fucking order. That's funny coming from you when literally every piece of clothing you own Looks like you pulled it off a body you found. <laughs> you look like a walking piece of evidence. <laughs> Murder mystery looking ass. Did you just say looking ass after that joke? <laughs> okay, so he I, lost this. I'm not taking credit for that. Looking ass? I said joke. Look at yourself. Look at My God. <laughs> look at your own ass. It's enormous. All right. Uh, Pat surprises you when you get to know him. Uh, yeah, that's not, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? That was banter. Shut the fuck. That was banter. Hey, that was banter. That was his. Fucker. So we're on four. That was a banter. Dog. That was raw banter. Get was right Jesus Christ! Your haircut's fine, by the way. But um, yeah, I think it's great. great. I think it's good. I think you have a cool haircut, and your nose is awesome. But um, but continue with your joke. Pat surprises you when you get to know him. Uh, he's the kind of guy who will let in. Uh, let alcohol influence his driving, but won't let his girlfriend influence him to get a bed frame. <laughs> last round, last round. Should have framed. No, wait, I got one. I thought we, I had two more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, two more. Fuck me. Sorry, I, I really thought I did. Am I, wrong? I am dumb as uh, hell. John puts a lot of his uh, comedy sketches on YouTube. Uh, I think you should put them on you porn because they fucking blow. <laughs> but, uh, for real though, John. He literally not shut, the fuck, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You crooked nose retard. Shut the fuck up. Okay. John, I like your I like your comedy videos. I think you should do more man on the street videos. By that I mean you should lay down in traffic. John has a lot of videos where he falls into a table and breaks it which is something that Chris Farley is famous for. I think you should do another thing that Chris Farley is famous for and die in your hotel from drugs. <laughs> Pat looks like he owns a cookbook exclusively about microwaving hot dogs. <laughs> You look like you run a, have a cookbook about how to put them up your ass. But, uh, <laughs> that's... Was it a roast that... <laughs> All right. John, well, John went to uh, Penn State University, which is famous, for obviously, for the Jerry Sandusky, like, horrific pedophilia scandal. But uh, John was a good student. He was. His major was software engineering, and his minor was a little kid named Timmy. So... Uh, <laughs> For Pat, plan A has always been pulling out, but plan B, that's scooping it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the rest, make some noise. I can't count, dog, I'm so sorry. I, I fucking cannot count to seven, holy shit, it's embarrassing. Jeff, what are your thoughts? You wanna start us off here? I don't even think you're trying to count. I think you just try to guess at what time it's been. <laughs> I, I've never seen a less organized referee. Bro, I got, I got notes, like, I got note cards over there, bro, like, bad. Last round, I think, maybe, <laughs> it's kinda, it's kinda up to you guys. It's, you tell me, actually. I don't. No, I like it. It's very uh, punk rock, but. No, oh, thanks. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> the 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 roaster so can. You guys probably could have just stayed up there all night anyway. It didn't really, so it's like it's entertaining. That's fun as hell, man. To see you do that many jokes and uh, John, you had the DUI joke and the hot dogs was all really funny, but when when Pat kind of went in on the nose jokes, it was kind of he had you and, <laughs> and Pat, that was just so he funny. Did. Great jokes, Pat. You really, you really killed it. I, I like how you're just like a character in that uh, Mike Judge show. What's it called? Uh, no, the other one. 
No. <laughs> King no. of the Hill. <laughs> You're just sitting there with your beer telling these oh. great jokes like you just got out of bed <laughs> ten minutes ago. <laughs> You remind me of this guy that picked on me in high school, and I like it. Because I kind of think about, like, if this is how he wound it up, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> so, uh, great job. You got my vote there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Pat what, gets one. What's your last name? What's your last name? Uh, Bullduck. Pat, Pat Bullduck. Boulder? Bullduck. Bullduck. Oh, we got you. Got to change that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll change it to Lift Schultz. Maybe would that work? Exactly. <laughs> that's how. That's how I know. Yeah. <laughs> Lift right. Schultz, Schultz is my real last name. <laughs> it's Research. an old Hebrew word. It means, hey, you ought to change that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, Chris, what are your thoughts? Oh man, that was one of my favorite battles I've seen in a long time, man. That was so much fucking fun. Um, that's fun, man. That's fun. Man. I never, Matt, I never thought we would have two retired hockey players on this show. <laughs> that is so cool. That is great. Um, uh, I loved you guys both so much. Uh, the Sopranos joke is what got me. I, I think, mo yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, John, you don't know what it means to be the fucking boss. Okay? <laughs> I loved it. Uh, I'm giving it to Pat, man. That was great. All right, two for Pat, two for Pat. There's some major divorce dad energy on stage. <laughs> I feel like you've been through like three and he's about to have his first. Uh, I just feel bad for you guys. You guys, Pat, I think you're amazing. You did good too, but Pat, you're fucking crushing it. It's like you have something to prove from like, you used to be great at something. You know, like... <laughs> That hurt. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Keith, what are your thoughts, man? Oh, uh, fucking, uh, John looks like when your mom tells you, we have Bradley Cooper at home. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Pat looks like he was dishonorably discharged from the Salvation Army for shooting a kid. Uh, <laughs> he was asking for it. What do you want Go on. My, my favorite part of that was watching you guys bicker over who got to interrupt each other. <laughs> like, I've never seen, like, dueling banjos for white privilege before. Like, that was... Uh, yeah, I, I, I gotta agree, John. You had some great shit, but you did. You, you were a little inconsistent toward the end, and Pat was like, I have nothing else. <laughs> and you fucking shredded your ass by the end. So, yeah, I give it to Pat. All right. Pat takes, Pat takes three. Leo, what are your thoughts? Um, you guys look like you're fighting over who gets to roofie a girl. <laughs> I can't. And they, and, they both, and they both won. And no one, yeah, I know. <laughs> We're running train like on his dunk. mom. <laughs> I think you started off uh, really strong, John. And, uh, you know, at the train joke, I think that's where Pat turned it. And then he kind of just took over after that. So I'm going to give it to Pat. All right. Pat takes the round. Pat takes the round. Quaslo, what are your thoughts, Adam? John, you look like Pat with a three-year chip. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you look that much better than me, all right? Quaslo, Jesus. <laughs> He doesn't look that much better than you, but he does look that much more employed than you, okay? So, uh, damn. Uh, John, you had some great stuff tonight. I was worried that you were going to come with some alt bullshit that I hate seeing in <laughs> a Rose Battle. Uh, but Pat had the fucking minus touch tonight. Like, normally, when somebody has multiple parts to a Rose Battle, I am just waiting for the part that bombs. Uh, but that never happened. Uh, Pat, you're in rare form tonight. I gotta give it to you. All right, Pat takes it. Pat takes it. Grace, is it a clean sweep? Um, you guys are both super funny, and one of you is attractive. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're cute. You you guys make a good pair. Like you're like Batman and Robin if Robin was ugly. <laughs> she doubled down. <laughs> um, you don't know. Pat's the hot one. <laughs> That's, all wanted. That's all I wanted. Uh, <laughs> That's what he needed. Uh, and he's also the funny one, so Pat wins. All right, Pat's the hot, funny one, but John's somehow married. Make some noise for that. Make some noise for that. Oh, come on, hug it out. That's cute as hell. We still got two more battles left. You guys, you guys down? You guys got the energy for two more roast battles? We well, he's just rushing into the next battle so fast, I can't breathe. All right. <laughs> How long have you been doing this roast battle here? Uh, Grigo, you tell me, a year and a half? 
about a year and a half, about a year and a half. That's cool. Yeah, man, we started right here. What and, are they uh, normally doing here? What are they normally doing here? This. <laughs> they do a lot of stand-up shows. It's, a, it's just a stand-up venue all around. Yeah, yeah, man. It's the Lincoln Lodge. <laughs> what, what, what time is the electrical fire supposed to break out? <laughs> Bro, I got here, the fucking AC is set to 80 degrees. No, cool. I like this place. Does the exterminator ever show up? Or no. <laughs> oh, you haven't even seen the clown bathroom yet, dude. They gotta... <laughs> oh, there's a clown bathroom. I can't, I can't explain it. It's just, is what it is. That's it. It's a national landmark. That's I like, it. I like it. I like it. How many battles? Two battles left? We got two battles left. You got the stamina? No, I'm totally into it. I, I slept on the plane. I'm good. <laughs> okay. You're good, you're good, no, I slept during the second battle. <laughs> I got a good nap in. Yo, ha happy, happy birthday, Jeff. By the way, this is Jeff's birthday. Two days ago? Yes, yeah, two days ago. Make some noise for Jeff's birthday, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can retire now. You can be done. You can, you can. Yeah, now I can sleep on my laurels of, of having been at the Chicago Rose Fest. You've done it all. You've done it all. This is this it. Is all, this is so fun, by the way. Thanks for letting me do it. Dude, hell yeah. Glad you're here, man. Glad you're here. You guys ready for your next battle, by the way? Yeah. I'm quick with it. I'm sorry, man. You're going to like this battle. This is, uh, I was actually, we had another comedian lined up. He canceled. He couldn't get a riot here or some bullshit excuse. <laughs> So at the last minute, with an hour and like 10 minutes left, Christian Royce is filling in. Erica had to rewrite her jokes. Everybody make some noise for Erica Switzer and Christian Royce, everybody. Come on. Thank you. Who goes first? They wrote this now. They had an hour of prep. They had an hour of prep. We'll see what happens. This is on site. Who's starting us off? Who's starting? Ladies first. Go ahead. I'm so honored tonight to be roasting my favorite garbage pail kid, Luther Van Gross. <laughs> All right, that was big. All right, but hey, y'all, give it up for Erica for wearing a fucking leather pants and a head wrap, looking like a turned out Harriet Tubman and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Erica's, Erica's whole aesthetic is a St. Louis hooker that's got two weeks left to retirement, and she is just leading into this shit. <laughs> Aside from his hairline, the saddest thing about Christian is his love of anime, especially his favorite. Vampire Hunter D's nuts. <laughs> you know, at first I didn't want to do this battle because I didn't want to say anything negative about a black woman, but it's fair that I'm roasting a minstrel in drag. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I was even roasting her. I thought I was roasting a fucking drag queen whose name is Cunt Jamama. <laughs> Thank you, King Koopa Kente. In three years of roasting, I have never roasted another female, but tonight I finally roasted somebody with bigger titties than me. Because like, she's funny, she brings up titties because she spent a lot of time in China, and it's weird because he lifts up her titties to say made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Because um. <laughs> you really look like Anthony Anderson gave up. <laughs> um, Christian actually looks like he ate Aerie Spears. So let's just, <laughs> like he ate Aerie Spears and tried to get hot again and stopped halfway. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> well, we'll get back together, we'll get back together. Um, Erica, the only girl that I've ever seen that got a booty with four right angles. Uh, <laughs> real shit, I saw her post a twerk video, I thought I was watching a bootleg copy of the Lego movie. Just <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Boba Hotep. Um, I see this dude every couple months when I get booked. He passes me a joint. I don't really know this nigga. But at least there's his comedy, which reminds me of all my exes. Black, nerdy, and gay. <laughs> Hey, y'all can probably tell by that head scarf. If you ever see Erica with locks, they ain't real. Uh, she would, she would have them on tonight, except she had to use them as a bike chain to get here. So. Uh, 
but they mine because I paid for them. <laughs> Speaking of which, Christian is broke. <laughs> but I have good news to report as he's just been announced as spokesperson for yams. <laughs> Speaking of yams, Erica been dealing with body issues all her life. She ain't fat, she just built like a chocolate smurf. <laughs> she got kicked out the village because she got knocked up by Gargamel. You just mad because his dick was bigger. Anyway. Final round? Am I right for once? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we did it. Anything to stop this. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I'm loving it. I didn't bring my glasses, but I love Sam J and Cat Williams. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> like most comics. Christian performs everywhere and says he destroys every room, but we all know the only room he's ever destroyed is a Taco Bell bathroom. <laughs> As we've established, Erica taught in China for a little bit. She got kicked out of she got kicked out of China for trying to get a coochie eight with, while I had a yeast infection. Uh, the locals called it the crab ragoon. <laughs> uh, Make noise for that. Is that the battle? That's it. That's it, man. Make noise. All right, last minute stand and not half bad, guys. That was pretty fun. All right, uh, Jeff, you want to start us off? Uh, no. he, goes, he goes, oh, shit. No, uh, uh, Erica and Christian, give it up for both of them. That was very funny. I was just playing that I wasn't enjoying it. I was very much enjoying it. And Erica, you had some good moments, but Christian, you hit pretty consistent for me. So you got my vote. All right, one for Christian. One for Christian. Make some noise. Chris, Ed, what are your thoughts? Uh, I thought, Christian, you both, both of you did very well. Erica, it takes a lot of courage to get on stage not wearing pants. And I, <laughs> and I just commend you for that. So my vote's for Erica. I uh, for Erica, one for Erica. Man, how, wait, uh, how long did you guys have to write the jokes? I had, like, I don't know, like, on 45, okay, 45 that makes sense. Yeah. Um, now it all now it all lines up. That was great. Um, up top, I thought it was really great, man. Like it was like it was getting super hate speechy, right? And everyone was into it. You know, Wakanda forever. It was cool. Um, uh, then it kind of fizzled, but I think you guys did a great job as a last minute stand, and I really appreciate it. I think just by a, a fucking a slim margin, I think I'm gonna, I gave it to Erica. I think I think she she had more consistent. All right, Erica got two. Erica got two. One for Christian, one for Erica. Keith, what are your thoughts, man? Yeah, I mean, really, for like a fill-in battle and for writing that 45 minutes, that really was fucking great. You know, that you guys both had some uh, some hits and some misses. I do love Erica. Like, you have this very dignified stand-and-deliver, like, way you tell jokes. Like, it feels like Maya Angelou roasting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I know why the caged bird calls this guy a fag. Like... <laughs> <laughs> What I really love is that battle it references to like anime and Mario. Like I've never seen two such black people make such white references. <laughs> uh, and I will say I thought you guys both did well. It was pretty close. Uh, King Koopa Kinte is one of the best jokes I've heard all night, so I'm gonna give it to Erica as well. Ooh, three for Erica, three for Erica. <laughs> yeah, what are your thoughts, man? What in? Man, that one was really close. And props to you guys for writing that so fast. I couldn't have done that. So good job. <laughs> yeah, they wrote in an hour. It was a so. stand-in. It was a stand-in. Um, I agree that, Eric, you had the poise the whole time. I really loved it, and I loved the King Koopa comeback. And I just, I'm really having trouble deciding. That's why I'm still talking right now. Um, God, I just think, uh, man, I think Christian had a slight edge with his jokes, but I had you really close. Great job. All right, two for Christian, three for Erica. <laughs> We got ourselves a close round. Quaz, what are your thoughts? I think I watched you two break up at a Herald's once. Uh... I agree, uh, King Koopa Kinte was uh, one of my favorite jokes in the battle. 
made even better by the fact that Grace did not get it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, now this is, uh, I run a show with Christian and I am shocked that that is the first time I've ever heard you say the phrase turned out Harriet Tubman. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, do, I, I do think Christian was a little bit more consistent, hit with a few more. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to Christian. Oh, three, three, we had a tie round. We had a tie round. Grace, you're the tiebreaker. No pressure. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not get most of those references. <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> um, Grace started calling the cops right as they came on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was worried they were busting out the barbecue gear. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the nice I don't know what Harold's is. It's a chicken. It's a chicken shop. It's a chicken really shop, guys. Jesus. You got the best chicken in Chicago. Um, Christian, I thought your jokes, um, kind of like Erica's forehead, were a little too long. <laughs> and then. Erica, what I liked about your jokes is that they were like short and fucked up, like your teeth. God damn. Now we're mad? <laughs> um, you're right, you have fucked up teeth too. Um, but I think, I think Erica won that. Oh, Erica takes the round, you guys make some noise. <laughs> Whew. Whew. It's a goddamn marathon tonight. All right, man, that was fun, that was fun. You guys, good? you guys still alive? You guys ready for one more battle? Yeah. Guys, this show, by the way, this show usually first and third Thursdays of the month. Usually it's at 8 o'clock. We moved it to 10 so we could get this man in the house tonight. Is that true? That's true, yeah. We made a late night special Thank for you, you, man. Thank you, because I'm having a great time. Oh, dude, that makes me so It means a lot, man. It means a lot. Yeah. It means a lot. Yeah, man, we, we moved it back. I'm surprised people came out, but y'all fucking came out in troves, and we weren't allowed to say that like, you might pop in. We had to like pretend. We'd be like, there might be a special guest, and that's what we did all week. Because I have other shows in town, and they didn't want to spoil it. You sold out five shows at the Improv in Schaumburg, right? Yeah. Five shows, holy shit. Thank you, thank you, and thank it's, you. And it's Riot Fest weekend. That's goddamn impressive. Make some noise for that. That's really wow. impressive. Riot Fest. That's wow. really fucking impressive, man. Riot Fest weekend? What is that? It's like, the, it's like the third biggest music festival in Chicago. That's what it is. Wow. Yeah. I haven't had that kind of competition since Tom Papa was at the Zanies down the street. <laughs> <laughs> it no, it's cool. It's cool. That's a, cool. That's a phenomenal response. That's anyway, I love that's the whole Hitler Youth vibe that you put out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am from Iowa, if you didn't hear my set. I, uh, I can't help it, man. I was born with it. There's one Iowan in the back. That's so funny. She goes... Celebrating my birthday! How, how old are you turning? I just turned 26. Then you should know to shut the fuck up. That's... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> He's like, Iowa, also it's my birthday! <laughs> Yo, I'm from Iowa. My parents beat me to not talk during shows. That's what they do. <laughs> This is the last battle, guys. You guys ready for your last battle tonight? Oh, yeah, why, nice. why did you save this one for last? Bro, I don't make the lineups. That's Chris's job. That's, right. <laughs> that's... Well, are we going to do the fucking chant one last time? We'll or? bring him we'll we up. We'll the killers. We'll battle. bring him up. Battle. 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 Goddamn, he was too excited. <laughs> he tried to steal the mic Hello, already. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? He's already stealing shit. What's up? What's up, fat piece of shit? Can I go first? Or what? I don't know. Let's go first, up? Oscar. Start us off, man. All right, man. Let's talk about how fat this motherfucker is, right? Let's start with that, bro. <laughs> Ken is so fat that when he has sex with women, they suck on his titty, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they nut on his face and shit. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Oscar came up here like he needed fucking Spanish instructions. He dropping a mic and shit, goddammit. Fuck out of here. Bro, mic is heavy, though. 
Oscar's grandma recently died. <laughs> hey, yo, don't play. <laughs> I put her body to rest via cremation, or as I like to call it, boom, roasted, bitch. You wouldn't know why you didn't roast that food, motherfucker. Look at you, huh? That food talking in curses, Fuck you. This fat fuck. This fat fuck is also a fucking cokehead, dawg. You know what I'm saying? Last year, he almost died of an overdose. Uh, he almost had a heart attack, dawg. You don't need to do coke to have a heart attack, dawg. Dawg, you know what I'm saying, dawg? Your fat ass is gonna have a heart attack regardless, dawg. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dawg. The reason dog, he... dog, dog, if that, if that fentanyl don't get you, diabetes will, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, dog. Don't even take a Uber home, bro. Take a fucking ambulance as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eso fue un cuatro chistes. Eh, fue ¿no? uno, pendejo, fue uno y ya está. Baby, you put more punchlines on your jokes. You wouldn't know that's a joke, motherfucker. Every time he says a joke, he says, you know what I'm saying? Because he's not sure if y'all understand. <laughs> I say that shit because I'm not going to That's how we grew up talking in the hood, though. Hey, uh, Out of the suburbs. Oscar's the only this Mexican the... I know that was born and raised in Chicago, but he looks like he's visiting. <laughs> yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of visiting, look at this motherfucker. He says he's Mexican, but look at his fucking face, man. <laughs> this motherfucker's Mongolian, bro. <laughs> he's, a, he's a direct descendant of Genghis Khan, bro. Matter of fact, in his will, they gave him China, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you guys know what he's saying? <laughs> they, they obviously laughing, fool. You know what I'm saying? Oscar, Oscar looks like the Oompa Loompa that got fired from the chocolate factory for using somebody else's social security number. <laughs> I'm surprised this motherfucker's doing well because every time I see him, he's eating a bunch of dicks on stage, bro. Oh. <laughs> Last year at St. Lee's at the Cinco de Mayo, he bombed so bad, bro. He bombed so bad, I started telling people I was Guatemalan because I was associated with him, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You look Guatemalan, <laughs> motherfucker, what the fuck? <laughs> and you look Mongolian. The motherfucker, we started shit already, bro. Or the reason we went last is because his caravan just got here. <laughs> the reason we went last is because this motherfucker couldn't stop eating, dog. Fuck out of here. Oscar shirts come with toys. I forgot my joke. This is amazing. Holy shit. I have no idea what joke we're on. <laughs> 11, this 11. This fat, sweaty motherfucker, bro. I swear to God, bro. This motherfucker's so sweaty, he don't even walk no more. He just dies and shit. Like a motherfucker, bro. If this motherfucker falls down right now, he'll look like the bears did on Sunday, bro. Just sliding through fucking soul control, bro. Wow. Oscar just watched the game today, because this is when they air on Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, motherfucker, at least I have a, at least I have a TV, fool. Yeah, motherfucker. Now my bad, you're a bad Mexican. You watch only TV in English. Oscar, <laughs> Oscar looks like he almost got Down syndrome, dog. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, you look like you got it, motherfucker. How long is this gonna go? Fuck they got two more each. I'm pretty sure they got two more each. I'm not Shit. sure though. Oscar looks like a tall midget. <laughs> this motherfucker is so fat, man. Like, <laughs> the last time he saw his dick, New York still had Twin Towers, bro. You <laughs> <laughs> hang that thing. 
The last time you saw your dick was when the coyote was yeah. sucking your motherfucker. Hey, bro, hey, 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 hey. Coyote suck good dick. I, I, I can't say that. <laughs> can't blame him, bro. Can't blame him, bro. Right. I think I think last one. Okay. Uh, this motherfucker uh, told me. Uh, shut up. This final round, final round, 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 last showcase, last showcase. Show show this motherfucker told me a story that one time a girl walked in his room and tried to fuck, but his dick couldn't get up because he was too coked out and shit. <laughs> I could just think the dick is thinking like, man, this motherfucker don't get up. What the fuck am I gonna get up? You know what I mean? <laughs> this motherfucker won't get up the couch, bro. I swear. Right, Oscar's on. nickname is El Cuchillo, which translates into kitchen knife. <laughs> the, knife, same, knife. the same thing he uses to cut his hair, dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, that's a roast. Make some roast, bro. Yeah, I like it out. Jeff, start us off, I man. Can't, I can't believe just two hours ago I was buying churros from you guys at <laughs> You're fucking crushing it at the roast battle. Fucking just, that was so fun. What a great battle to end Holy the shit. night. That was a fucking war, man. That was like, <laughs> you guys hung in there, man. That was, that was awesome. That was awesome. Holy shit. That battle went on, felt like, for an hour. Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like you're both battling other things as well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is like, you know, Ralphie Cinco de Mayo <laughs> versus, versus what the fuck happened to Bobby Lee. <laughs> well, I did. I'm not picking winners and losers tonight. I'm just here for fun. I'll let the regular panel. All know. right, that's the move. That's the move, man. What Oscar, awesome? how many ladders have you fell off? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be the one with a neck. <laughs> <laughs> I love both. You two are fucking amazing. This was so much fun. Thank you for letting me watch that. Oh, yes. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Rico, what are your thoughts, man? Way in. Man, that was, uh, just sincerely, that was, my, I think, my favorite battle I've ever seen on the show, man. So thank you guys. Uh, make That's some noise for that. Make some noise for that. That was so much fucking fun. You guys both were so funny. Um, that was awesome. Uh, Ken, weird choice to roast your younger self. <laughs> Every time he hit you with your joke, your face looked like you didn't see it coming. Um, I can't see your eyes. Um... Wow. Um, I mean, here's the thing. You both had like tens out of tens out of tens, but uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Ken. His comebacks were, uh, I mean, they were exemplary, man. They were killer, so. All right, one for Ken, Ken one for Ken. Keith, Holy, what are your thoughts, man? Holy shit, homo versus sumo went hard. <laughs> that was fucking great work from both of you guys, sincerely. Ken, I love that you've reached the level of fat where your face is eating itself, right? <laughs> Like, you look like if Horchata had a Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, fuck! I, I, I want Trump to build the wall just so you can knock it the fuck down. <laughs> oh, my God. I also realize if I stand in between the two of you, it looks like the evolution chart for an eating disorder. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was one of the best battles I've ever seen. Uh, anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Ken because the Oompa Loompa joke broke my fucking brain. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, fucking Ooh. great work, dude. Fucking both of you guys. Holy so shit. Oh yeah, two for Ken. <laughs> Leo, what are your thoughts? Man, that was amazing. Thank you guys. That was really great. Give Holy it up shit. for them. That was the best battle. That was so much fucking fun to watch. Um, man, it was close, and you were both really funny. I think uh, it was hard for you to concentrate on your jokes if you're getting sucked into his orbit. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta give it to Ken. You cracked me up, dude. Very All funny. right. Ken's got three. I have always wondered what a Russian nesting doll would look like if it was Mexican. So. Uh, also, uh, I apologize for having this glass full of ice. I know that must be triggering. Uh, I, what Adam looks like, he used to bully the rest of the Jews in Auschwitz. <laughs> That's right. 
Nazi sent to fat camp. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're using every fat joke that was ever used against you here tonight, brother. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Bro, he's just on the panel. Let the man live. <laughs> I, uh, so, uh, I've known Oscar for eight years, uh, as long as I've been doing comedy. And uh, his entire family's from Mexico, but his voice still sounds racist to me. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I do have to say, though, uh, both of y'all were amazing. Jeff, to answer your question from earlier, that's why they went on last. Uh, but uh, Ken was able to write a joke uh, where half the words weren't dog. So <laughs> I'm going to have to give it to Ken. All right, Ken takes the round. That was a good-ass round, man. Grace, what are your thoughts? Weigh in. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Ken, you look like if um, Buddha reincarnated as a Latin king. We look like big and tall, bitch. Uh, no, that was an amazing, that was an amazing fight. Uh, I haven't seen a beating like that since your abuelitas were making me tortillas at Arturos. <laughs> Yeah, her accent changed on site. I know. I work with a lot of Mexicans. Um, yeah, no, that was awesome. Uh, great job. Give it to Ken. All right, Ken takes a clean sweep. <laughs> Thanks for this new show. Thank you all so much. Yo, great thank job, you guys job, so much great for coming out. Great job, Ken. Guys, this has been Rose Battle Chicago. If you guys enjoyed tonight's show, we're on YouTube. Wait, that's it? That's it? That's fucking it, man. Oh my, that fucking flew by, man. Dude, it, it was a long night, but it went fast, man. That fun, was man. awesome. Thank you. Man, we're on YouTube. We've noticed we have full battles on YouTube. All of our past battles, a lot of people have done the show before. You can look at their past battles on our YouTube. Uh, we're on Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube, by the way. We could use the money. And uh, uh, we're on Instagram. We're on all the social medias, guys. Please uh, stick around, have a drink if you want the Lincoln Lodge. Get home safe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Make some noise for the panel and Jeff Ross. Everybody. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure.